it's Burgess Taylor and it's Monday. Usually Mondays are coffee chat Monday, but today I'm going to do something a little bit different, trying to get back on track with the video. And I thought since it is a coffee chat, I thought I'd add in One Book July because I am preparing for One Book July right now, actually. I don't know exactly what pen I'm going to use. I do use a multitude of pens. Since I bullet journal and I art journal Fobonichi, Hobonichi style journaling, I add art and watercolor and all this good stuff. I thought, you know what? Instead of using so many different supplies, because one book July is supposed to be one book, one pen, one month. One book July version 2.0, which is one book, one project, one month. i been trying to get things organized and trying to figure out what really truly works for me because I really do like the idea of everything in one book. Planning, art, organizing, but I know that there's a lot of stuff that I do and I actually need another notebook for. I have a multitude of travelers notebook. How about I break it down to one travelers notebook, which is going to be this one. It's my newest Janelle fish. It is a mermaid. It is actually a corset trifold mermaid. It's chunky, y'all. It's going to be chunky. But I had to figure out what would work for me. I broke it down. This is the insert for my witchy stuff, my witchy shadows kind of journal. This is my writing journal. I can write in this ideas that come up, writing projects, some writing journaling. I may end up actually even doing my morning pages in it. And then this is my YouTube blog post. It's to organize all that stuff, the ideas that I have for YouTube videos, for blog posts, which I am going to be doing more of. Last week and the week before were kind of hit or miss with the videos and with the blog. I don't think I did a blog post at all last week, but I've been doing pretty well up until then. I've been making blog posts. So this week there will be a number of blog posts. I'm going to talk about a number of different things, including One Book July and stuff like that. That's what this one's for. And then this is my Taroko Design Shop Mystique. It is similar to the Seven Seas Crossfield. And I am going to continue as I go through the months that go in this. I'm going to do this so that I know what months are in there. And then what I have done is I have added this. This journal is just a tiny bit bigger, I think, for some reason, because this plastic cover will not fit on it. And it fits on my Hobonichi, and it fits on the cross field, but for whatever reason, it will not fit on this. This one must be just a tad bigger. It's actually in this side, but it's not in this side, which is okay, because it'll work like one of those little dashboard covers. It's going to actually be my primary book. I'm going to do my bullet journaling in this book. I'm going to do my sketch day, draw a day, illustrator day, Hobonichi, Fobonichi, smash book style journaling in this, along with the bullet journaling, so that I have kind of everything for the most part in this book. Now, I could have combined YouTube ideas in there as well and just had the writing book, but I kind of wanted to kind of keep it more along the lines of what I really do and what my goals are. All the main stuff for my goals in here. So that's what I'm doing for that. So I have the book. I'm going to be using one traveler's notebook. I have technically I can fit another one, which I may end up doing. I have a smaller insert. It's another Cheek Sparrow insert. And I might be putting that one in there for the regular journaling because I just don't know if I want to do my regular journaling in those other two notebooks. I just, I don't know because it's kind of a separate thing. I don't want to journal in the book that I plan in, like regular journaling where I write out stuff like my morning pages. And I love, love, love my morning pages journal. Unfortunately, this is hardbound. And if I put this in there, or I put the Rhodia in there, which I had in there. It makes it too fat. It really just, it makes it too fat. Thinking about the insert. I have a couple of different inserts. I actually have another insert that's lined. It may end up in there. So technically for me, One Book July will start Friday. I'm preparing things for it. Get it in the mindset of One Book July. I debated over whether I should start it today or not. 
but because I don't have everything in yet that I wanted to use for Warm Book July, I decided to just wait and start it on Friday. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out pens. I have this pen, which is a Pilot. I love that it. it's purple. I really do. And it has a fine nib. And I have the carbon, the platinum carbon waterproof cartridges that I could technically put in here. And that would probably work really well. But I also have, I just haven't started using it yet because I'm waiting on the Noodler's Bulletproof Black Ink. I have a Twisby Echo, a small clear one. I wanted to put waterproof ink in it because otherwise I'm going to end up using this pen or the Twisby with regular Noodler's Heart of Darkness ink and the Sharpie pen because it is waterproof. So I have water brushes and I debated on using this because it has so many different colors or using using that or using the Koi. Mine is dirty because I've been actually I've been doing watercolor. Are using my Prisma. This is the 36 count watercolor pencils. I haven't made up my mind about that either. Debating those. I'm probably going to end up using this, the travel kit. I just started really practicing the watercolor with brushes. I don't know. I have the little water brushes that you put the water in. They're in my living room. I was doing art in there earlier. And I have a little small Prismacolor watercolor set thought about using this. It has all the basic colors in it. But I'm probably really going to end up using the Koi watercolor set, the Traveler set, because that just makes the most sense to me. This one I use a lot, but also great for travel. And I, I go on artist dates, and a lot of times when I go on my artist dates, I end up taking something to watercolor with. Although, like Carrie said, the, the One Book July police are not going to get me if I break one of the rules. The rules aren't like set in stone, but the whole purpose of this is to follow the rules so you can simplify things. And I don't know how I'm going to simplify things. These are, um, you know what's in here. My Derwent Ink Tense pencils are in here. My watercolor brush. My Zig calligraphy pens, dual ended pens are in here. I have one of the Jelly Roll white pens in here, and of course, I have a sharp Sharpie pen. I could use one bag, which is what I think I'm going to end up doing. I have my pencil case. I have this one. I thought about using this one, but I may end up using this one because I can put the pencil sharpener in there. I can fit in this one bag. As far as the water brushes and the ink pens, like like this. As far as like that stuff goes, yeah, there's a purple one in here too. My watercolor pencils and the Derwent, I thought about doing that, just one bag and whatever will fit in there, that's what I'm going to be using. And then that way I can put the Prismacolor, the pencil sharpener in here and I'm good to go. So like I won't be using my Tombows, those Stetler pens, so this is pretty much what you get. So if I can fit it in here, then I'll be using it. If I can't fit it in here, I won't be using it. Oh, project. Doing one and two. I'm combining version one and version two. I thought, well, I'd do a project because it is the summer and it is challenge summer for me. My goal is to pick one of the July challenges. I see the plan with me challenge. I see the um, handwrite, rock your handwriting challenge, the doodle kind of stuff challenge. There's a watercolor challenge going on, I think, in the month of J July. I'm going to check that one out, but if that one doesn't really appeal to me, then I'm going to be doing, I'm going to find one of the other challenges, the prompts for the month of July, and I'm going to follow through with that every day. On my pages for July will be what is in there. Every day, I'll have, this is today's, I've set up most of it, and I'm, a lot of my June, I went ahead and started, I did a lot of my June memories, there's still a little bit of room, and then this is all of July, and it's my birthday month, and it's my grandson's birthday month, it's my husband's sister's birthday month, it's one of my friend Amanda's birthday month, and uh, husband and I are going out of town 
with my friend Amanda and her husband for our birthdays because our birthdays are a few days apart. So I'm really excited. Mr. Victor will be four years old on the 15th of July and I'm super excited. So yeah, July is a big birthday month. It's also the birthday of the United States. So there's going to be a lot of celebrating in July. Once I get things a little bit more organized between now and the first, I will do another video and I will show you the main pen I'll be using. I will show you the bag and what I have in the bag and the actual inserts of what I have set up and why I have it set up that way for One Book July in my Traveler's Notebook. A lot of fun if you are a planner or you aren't sure of whether your system is working, you kind of don't have planner P's or you, maybe you have a bunch of different planners or a bunch of different journals or whatever and you want to streamline things which is my big thing you ought to try it and you definitely need to check out Romany Realms video um, introduction to One Book July she has several different videos because this has been going on for a couple years Carrie Harling and Miss Vicki B I will give you the link to the three different years <laughs> or the two different what video playlist One Book July and I'll leave you the links below thank you for watching I will see you again soon have a good one